these snake plants are mother-in-law's tongues, whatever y'all want to call them. I'm going to go ahead and try to propagate some more of these by cuttings. I'm only going to do one leaf. I've never did this before, but... I'm going to take this biggest leaf and I'm going to cut it. I hope you can see that. I'm going to cut it right there. Now, I don't know if that will sprout something more there or not. I don't know. But here's the thing, this here, when I got this, Tracy from across the street gave me this, and it was only this leaf right here, and this leaf, and I planted it in the pots, and all this new growth you see right here, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, new growths came from those two so these were all babies now i like i said i have never done this before and what you do you cut off about two and a half sections and the person I watched said be sure that when you put this in the dirt that you don't turn it upside down because it won't take so that's the bottom and uh, That's the bottom. Matter of fact, you know what I think I'm going to do? Just so I don't actually make a mistake, I'm going to cut a little notch right there. That tells me that's the bottom. That one I'll know because it's slanted. I'll cut a little notch like that. And cut it. I'll cut another notch. I'll cut it. I love these things. And they, they're great for low light, like in the house and stuff. And they're great, great air purifiers in your house. So... Cut it right there. Got little notches on the corners of them. And of course that one will be the top one. So what I've got there is one, two, three, four, five, six, got seven. Um, these things hold a lot of water too. So now what I'll do, I'll have to fix me a bed to put them in. Um, and you just stick them in the dirt. Stick them in the dirt. And hopefully they will root. And just what I'm going to do, I'm going to get me a... I'm, I'm going I'm to put a humidity dome on them. I'm going to use a plastic bag. Um... And I'm trying to remember now, did they say you water those when you... I, I'm thinking they said not necessary because it's got water, so much water in it. But you know, something that thin, I mean, how much water could be in there? Of course, they're very... They're, they're, they're wet. 
and he did the moon. <laughs> I must have thin skin. I was pulling up this big aloe plant here I was gonna put in the those things don't usually well they're pretty sharp when they get bigger but it got me good that gun it <laughs> anyway anyway I was getting some dirt out of here I was going to use to um, uh, use to stick those cuttings in on them snake plants. Wow. Alright, it's done got warm enough now I can take this jacket off. Take this jacket off. Boy, I got to figure out how to. I wish I had a. All right. This is what I'm going to put these mother in law plants in, these cuttings. And I'm doing them just, just like a uh, lady showed me. She's a nice lady. I assume she is. I, I watch a lot of her stuff. She's the one woman, I want to call them horticulturists, but I, I don't know about her. See, I've got the little knot, so I know what the bottom is. And I'm sticking them in there like so. I may go ahead and cut another one just to I don't know how you're supposed to uh let's see I better be recording this yeah I'm recording I like I I used to didn't like mother-in-law plants Um, but I'm liking these. Now, I don't know how they, do these things sprout new babies or what? You know, I don't know. But I've actually got another one over there. Actually, I've got two more pots with some in them. I think I got one there. It's probably got a big one in there. Let's see. I'm I'm still ain't got. By the way, <laughs> this is them store bought right long stem roses, and I tried to do cuttings. They, I'm thinking I should have used sprayed them with fungicide or something before. I, did that i'm pretty sure i should have okay i'm not gonna i may let's see which one of these am i gonna cut here <laughs> all right this same this is the two main plants I stuck in there and it they produce so far one two four babies and they're doing very well so I think I'm gonna There. Go over here and 
I don't recall if they covered these up with plastic or not. All right. I don't, I don't remember. Cut my notch. Cut my notch. Cut my notch. But the lady, she really stressed big time that you'd never put it in upside down. She said, if you do, it won't make, won't work. So, There's my notch. There's my notch. That's the bottom. Now see, if I didn't have that notch there, I'd, I'd be hard pressed to tell which was up and down. But that's the bottom. Oh, I'm... So how many have I got in there? I got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got twelve. I'm not sure about if I'm supposed to... Uh, turn them upside or not. Up. I know I'm not supposed to turn them up, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to cover them or not. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wet this or not. The, the soil's already a little damp, and according to this lady, I can't remember her name. Now, the guy I watch is Mike Kincaid. Uh... I wish I had my stuff all together like, I mean my mind, you know, he just knows, he knows his stuff. And that's why I think those, um, those roses over there didn't take, the fungus got them. Cause I was just watching one of his things about rose cuttings. And said he was getting a lot of people saying a lot of their cuttings are turning black and all that stuff and getting mold on them and and these I put in this was all cut cut off of those um, long stem roses that my daughter got for Mother's or for Valentine's Day. And of course you can see they completely turned black. They completely, they've rotted, see that? And that's because I didn't, I didn't treat them. I should have, I should have sprayed them with fungicide and put hormone on them. I did put the hormone, but, but, the, but, but the fungus got them. And I had fungicide here. So, those are no good. Those are going to compost. Matter of fact, I think from here on out, anytime I do cuttings, I didn't do it with them mother-in-law plants I just did. I should have.
Um, but anyway, that can be a pointer for you. You know, if you try to root something, you got a little fungicide, put on. That's what I should have done. Now, I don't know. I suppose. Let's see if this will fit over that. It might. It might. And it does. Okay, I just went inside and went online to that lady's channel. And it's a good idea I did, because I did this wrong. I did some of it right, but I did it wrong. So, <laughs> what I've got to do, now if this has been dry soil, um, I could have left them like this, but this soil, I, I wet it. So, what I've got to do now is that all these pieces for about three days to callus over. There's lots of plants that you have to let them callus, you know. You have to do that with cactus. And so I'm taking all this up. And let it callus over. And then I'll put them back in the dirt. Now, this lady's channel, the name of that channel is It looks like it's pronounced Plantarina, P-L-A-N-T-E-R-I-N-A. -E nice lady. I like her. I mean, I may stick a piece or two of one of her videos in my video on this one here that I'm doing. And by the way, the correct, the scientific name for these snake plants and that snake plant family is uh, is Sansevierius S-A-N-S-E-B-I-E-R-I-A -S -E 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 now and she showed there's three ways that you can do propagate these things, these snake plants. Uh, and the, the one way is what I just showed you here, you know, by cutting them like that. Now, you can also do the same thing with these, but put them in water. And I'm assuming, I don't know if you let them, I guess I would let them callous over on that too. Another way is division. Of course, you could, I could go in there and take them apart, but usually you wait till they get fuller than, than what, what they are. And she didn't, and it didn't show her covering them things. But I'm so glad I went back in there and checked that because I was having memory lapses. But you can take the, now this plant that I just cut the leaf off there, it'll shoot up some new babies from there. That's the way this thing propagates in the pot. But then once this thing gets full, you know, 
Then I'll take them out and, and, and divide them. But this one has got more. How many did I say I had on that? I had one, two, three. Why is that one falling over? Oh boy, I'm going to have to... I don't like that. Ah, shoot. If I get one that's wanting to fall over, what I'll do... What I'll do, let's see. I'll do it with this one. I'll take one of these zip ties. And I'll take it down low. I hear voices. Anyway, um, these all seem to be holding pretty good. But yeah, I'm glad I went in and checked on that. And yeah, I think when I edit this video, I'll put a little piece of in there about her part of her video i guess you say i'm giving her a shout out not to the amount the hill of beans i don't know how many she's got but she's got a bunch and uh she's really into the plants uh and she's had one on there that i really like and it's 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 also a a what did I say you call it? A Sansevieria or something like that. It's 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 the same it's in the same family but it's called a whale fin. It's called a whale fin. Sans Sansevieria. And it's a real wide Plant. I, I would love to have one of them. I'll, I'll have to see if I can uh, be ideal if I can find somebody has got some will give me a cutting off of that. But yeah, I'm glad I I'm glad I did that. And she didn't have that. She didn't cover her so. That, uh, how do I, where will you pronounce that name of her? Plantarina? Plantarina? That must be Jaden I'm hearing talking. But yeah, I'll have to let these callus over. So let's see, today's Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday I can put them back in the dirt. So for right now, I'll let them callous over. I don't want them in the direct sun. So, I'll set them over here. Set them over here. Now, these here will go in the Ow, oh, man, that's got thorns on it. Yep. These will go into. I sure wish I thought to put the fungicide on them, but I seen that on Mike Kincaid. Matter of fact, I saw that this morning. And he roots roses in three weeks. Three weeks. 
Now, Okay. All right, what do I do next? I got something else I need to do and I can't remember what it was. Dad gone it. Anyway. Put my dirt right there. Yeah, she said if the soil that you put in the end was real dry, you didn't have to you didn't have to uh, callus them. But if the soil's wet, callus them. So now I need these here. Cordyline plants, I'm gonna leave on the deck. And uh, cordylines are tie plants, Hawaiian tie plants, whatever you wanna call them. Um, but all these other plants and stuff, most of them are going to the back. I may leave the I may may leave the snake plants up here on the deck, but one day I need to get. Oh, I know what I need to do. I I won't bore y'all with it. Lord have mercy. Wish I could pick that up and lock it over there.
GoPro start recording. All right, I think I'm about done for today. I'm about, I'm pooped. <laughs> and I don't want to push this arm. I want it to get a lot better. Uh, I've got a little bit done today. I'm trying to remember what I've got done. <laughs> uh, I got more, I got stuff off camera too that I didn't take video of but I poop my goal is going to be to move this pipe get all this pile in the bags I want this space 